I'm going to show you my favorite free WordPress cache plugin. It's called Lightspeed and it can do more than just cache files. Plus, it's free. Let's go check this out right now. Before I show you the Lightspeed plugin, I want to show you our sponsor, which is Hostinger. They have a hosting plan that's affordable and great. So they also have a cache system in some of their plans, which I'll show you right now. So first of all, if you want to check out some of their plans, go into the link provided in the description, jump into hosting and go into web hosting. They also have BPS and other type of hosting plans. Now they have several plans available starting from $199 to $999. I would recommend the business one or the cloud startup. Why? Because they have the cash system. So you don't want to go for the Lightspeed plugin. You can grab one of these plans and they have the object cache for WordPress. Okay. So also there's a discount that if you want to take advantage of, select one of these plans. Go ahead and grab this one, for example. You have the option to select one to 48 months. If you select 48 months, obviously you lock in the price with the cheapest one for 48 months. Okay. Plus the renewal price is cheaper. Okay. Now there's an extra discount. So right now it's $191 with 52 cents. If you select have a coupon code, add the SAS master coupon code, apply it, and it's going to reduce to $172 with 37 cents. So take advantage of that. All right. Now let me jump over to my WordPress site. And like I said, my favorite one is Lightspeed. To grab it, jump to your plugin section, go to add new. You can search for Lightspeed or just search for cache plugin. Just search cache. And it's going to load all these cache plugins. Now there's several of these that are really good, especially these three first ones. But I do recommend the Lightspeed cache because it can do more than just cache files. You can optimize files. You can do database optimization, delete spam comments, and a lot of things that I'll show you on this video. Okay. Now things you should consider with a cache plugin. The idea is to make your website load faster. But you do have to consider that once you enable and disable the settings, you need to test your site that everything is working correctly because some of the settings might break parts of your site. So make sure that everything is working fine because it's not just about loading fast. It's about actually have a workable site. Okay. Now, once we enable this, we're going to be able to view Lightspeed Cache here on the bottom left and we're going to jump into the dashboard to get started. So on the dashboard, we're going to view all the optimizations that it, it's been doing. It can also integrate with quick.cloud, which is the CDN. And they do have a free plan that you can also use in combination with this. It's not necessarily, but you can use it and it's pretty good. You got your page load time, your page speed scores with this image optimization summary, etc. all that. Okay. Next, we're going to go into presets. I love this setting from Lightspeak. Lightspeak is especially good when you don't know what you're doing. So you have your settings from essentials to extreme. If you go extreme, it's basically going to enable everything. It's going to be like a harsh cache system on everything that's going to be enabled. And it might break your site. If you want to try it out and just make sure that everything is working fine, then you're good to go. But if not, you can jump from extreme to aggressive, from like the most extreme to lower, just to see what works. But if not, I would recommend enabling advanced, okay, which is what is recommended. And it's going to apply these settings right here, okay? There we go. And it's now been applied and it's going to do all the all the essential, all the basic, and these advanced systems. So it's going to enable the CSS for optimization, your JavaScript files, your HTML, and remove WordPress emojis, Gravatar cache, DNS pretest, prefetch, and all that. Okay. So if you want to go with these, you can do so or enable what you need from these in the settings. Okay. Now, once you enable this, I do recommend you check your speed, for example, on Google Page Speed. Make sure that everything is working correctly. And GT metrics. Again, make sure that you're getting a better page speed because sometimes you can enable something that you might think is going to improve your website speed, but it's going to do the opposite. It's going to reduce the speed. So test. Okay. Enable test, disable test. All right. We're going to go into general. And in general, we have the settings. So automatically upgrade. In this case, I would recommend off, do it manually just to make sure that everything is working correctly. And you got some basic settings right here, but the good ones are over here in the cache settings. So since we enabled the essentials, it was the advanced, it already enabled these on on. Okay. Now you can see cache is enabled, cache logged in users, cache commenters, cache rest API, etc. If some of this, these things are breaking your site, I would do recommend you turn them off, test site, and then turn these on one by one, just to make sure that everything is working correctly. Be aware that turning these on or off every single time you do this, clear the cache. So go here, here, go here and purge all. Okay. 
That means it's going to remove all the preloaded files and it's going to load the site fresh, okay, with the new settings. Again, do that also with when you're installing new plugins, when you're making changes to your theme, do that, okay? So this is where you're going to enable everything from cache. You got your TTL settings, your purge settings, your excludes. Every cache plugin has this. In this case, let's just say that you have a live chat plugin and something is not loading correctly. Well, you can exclude that from being cached so it, it doesn't affect the performance or any issue it might have with that. That's the exclude, okay? The ES, ESI settings, the object settings, the browser settings, the advanced, and the WooCommerce settings, okay? That's for cache. Now, one of the things that I like about Lightspeed is that it also has other type of settings. For example, the CDN settings. There's a quick doc cloud CDN. Again, you can open up a free account and enable it here. If you enable it, it's going to work seamlessly with it, okay? But you don't have to use that one. You can use other CDNs and map it here with the link, okay? And you can include or exclude these type of files with that. Next is we have image optimizations. And one of the reasons why I like Lightspeed is because it has those extra settings that other cache plugins don't have. So I can optimize the, the images right here, generate different file sizes for different types of situations, do it right here automatically. Image optimization settings, check these out. You can auto request cron, auto pull cron, optimize original images, remove original backups if that's what you want to do. Optimize loosely, preserve the EXIF, image WebP replacement. I do recommend that you turn this on. Google PageSpeed loves this, so do use WebP images. WebP for extra source images also on, and you have those settings. Next we have is page optimization. So in the page optimizations, here's some more cache settings, okay? So you can minify, combine the CSS files. And again, these are things that you're going to turn on and test that they are working correctly, okay? So with all these, if you want to combine the CSS files because maybe you have 10 CSS files loading and Google doesn't like that, well, you can combine them. Just make sure everything's working correctly. If not, exclude the files that are breaking that part of your site, okay? Same thing goes with JavaScript, which is, this is a CSS. JavaScript settings are here. And again, you can minify, combine the HTML settings, media settings, VPI, media exclude, localization, tuning, tuning CSS, and all that advanced settings you get with a light speed cache. Now, these settings will vary depending on the site, the plugins that you have installed, the theme that you're using, and all that is going to vary what you're going to enable or disable. I can't tell you exactly what you need to enable because it's going to vary on every single site, okay? Next is we have some database settings. I, I love this one, all right? You can clean the database, post revisions, auto drafts, clean those out, trash posts, clean them out right here, spam comments. These, This is like a super useful button. When you have a hundred of thousands of spam comments, WordPress doesn't delete, doesn't let you delete them all at once. So this does it for you. Okay. Trash comments, trackable pinbacks, expired transients, all transients, optimized tables, and you get all those options here. And you have the DB optimization settings. Okay. Got those there. Go down over here. We have your crawler settings. Okay. So your summary, your map, your block list, general settings, simulation settings, sitemap settings your toolbox for different type of tools. So like I said, Lightspeed Cache Plugin gives you extra tools. So you have your image optimizations, you've got database optimizations, your spam comments, spam posts, uh, trash posts, and you can clean all of that right here. Plus all these tools right here. You can purge, import, export, HTT access, heartbeat. If you want to enable heartbeat to lower the heartbeats, obviously, so it causes less stress on your hosting. That is possible. Report, debug settings, log view, and beta test. All that is included with the Lightspeed. And basically, all of that is in the free version. So I do recommend that you use Lightspeed when you are trying to look for a Lightspeed. And if you want to grab the deals going on on Hostinger to have a great hosting plan at an affordable price, I do recommend this one. And check out the coupon code in the description. And that's a wrap for my favorite cash plugin.